Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode in the Minecraft Showcase series. And in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at the Steve Company Revamped mod by MC Joshua 345 of the Minecraft forums. There is, of course, a link to the mod thread in the video description below. So if you like what you see in the showcase, definitely check it out and give it a try. Now, basically what this mod does is it adds a whole bunch of various kind of random items to Minecraft, and it adds something that I personally really believe should be in vanilla, which we will get to at the end. So, first and foremost, we have over here the skull, the uh, assassin, sh uh, the create assassin shrine, and then the ambush crate, which is a work in progress. The skull you can make by taking vanilla bones and just putting them in a crafting bench like this. That will then create a skull, which you can then surround with redstone like this to create the crate assassin shrine. And then you can take that item, surround it with any type of wooden planks, and that will give you this ambush crate. Now at the moment, the ambush crate doesn't actually do anything, but it is still labeled a work in progress. So. I'm sure it will be cool when it's done. Now, it also adds a bunch of food. We have cheese, which you get by putting in a smeltery. Oh, what am I doing? Let's just grab some coal. And that will cook up. You just basically have a bucket of milk into a furnace, cook it, and then you will end up with this cheese right here. Now, you can take the cheese and turn it into a block of cheese just like this, and that will make this beautiful cheese block that looks like that. So, pretty cool. We also have tomatoes now, and you grow them just like you would any other vanilla uh, crop, like potatoes or carrots or whatnot. And then you can take the potatoes, the cheese, as well as some bread and steak, and you can make sandwiches. Pretty cool. Next we have grenades. Now, grenades, you craft by taking iron ingots, a piece of TNT, and some gunpowder, and that will give you one grenade. Now, the, there is actually a little bit of a problem right now with grenades. If we throw one, you'll notice when you actually come to this area, it, you, uh, you end up kind of rubber banding and stuff. And I am playing on a single-player world. I am not on a, I am not on a server, so um, that's a bug that uh, will have to be addressed. But grenades, still pretty cool. Gotta love grenades. Let's fix our little showcase room. Here we go. Next, we have shades. And those are crafted with glass panes and iron ingots. And you can take those and put them on. And then you can look pretty cool. It also gives you, uh, I'm assuming, let's just pop into game mode S. And let's see, it gives you night vision. Everlasting night vision. So that's pretty nifty. Let's go ahead and put those back. Oop. There we go. So that is the shades. Now, next, we've got some world gen stuff and some new tools. So this mod adds rubies to the game, and you can use those to craft uh, ruby tools and swords. The crafting recipes are exactly what you would expect them to be. And these are better than diamond. You also add... Uh, this mod also adds to the game the Life Steel Crystal and the Life Steel Crystal Wand. So Life Steel Crystals are these. They will generate in the world, and when you mine them, they'll give you this. You then get this lovely crystal wand. Now, let's test it out. Let's go into easy so I can actually spawn this zombie. And we'll grab ourselves this wand right here. And look, I take damage, and then when I hit it, it restores damage. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And the crafting recipe is just two sticks and a lifesteal crystal, just like that. Last, but certainly not least, we have new armor. And this is the one right here that I'm most excited about. It adds stone armor to the game. So let's go ahead and put that on. Gives you about half of your normal armor, but it also gives you slowness. Slowness 2 to be exact, so good luck running in stone armor. 
next. And also, I should mention, the crafting recipes for the armor are also exactly what you would expect as well. So, if we go and we take a bunch of smooth stone and put in here like so, you'll make all the very, you know, it's the vanilla crafting recipes just with a different material. The stone armor is made with smooth stone. It also modifies chainmail armor so that you can make chain links. And let's go back to peaceful mode to get rid of those annoying, those annoying slimes. There we go. So chain links. This is probably my favorite thing about this mod. So if we go in here, these are chain links. We'll grab a bunch of those and then we'll just grab a bunch of iron ingots as well. You make chain links like this and each one of those will make four. And then you can take the chain links and you can finally craft chainmail armor. Now, this is very interesting if you think about it, because certain mods like Tinker's Construct allow you to melt down full durability chainmail armor into steel. So, this could be kind of an overpowered, easy way to get steel very early in a mod pack if this mod was in it. Last but not least, there is also Ruby Armor. And Ruby Armor, we'll put that on, gives you maximum armor, as well as jump boost, regeneration, resistance, and fire resistance. So, kind of, uh, kind of a little bit overpowered, but that's okay. Sometimes it's fun to be overpowered. Let's go into game mode C, just so I can break this. We'll test out the jump boost. Wow, that is a heck of a jump boost. Look at that. Look at that. That's insane. Now, I'm considering adding certain things uh, from this mod pack into my own mod pack that I'm currently developing, which is kind of why I'm showing it off, specifically the chain mail. That would be pretty cool. Um, I think the ruby, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence as to whether or not it's overpowered. It isn't very well balanced right now, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, that is basically the mod in a nutshell. Once again, the mod was called Steve Company Revamped by MC Joshua 345 and there is a link to the Minecraft forum thread in the video description below. So guys, if you enjoyed this little showcase, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time. I need your Q&A questions. You can put them in the comments of this video. You can send them to me on Twitter. You can send them to me on Facebook. It doesn't matter how you send them to me. Uh, you can send them to me however you want. Whatever you are 